I didn't really do any build series videos or take much footage while we were building the car, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to do exactly that because it is something different. I think only one other car in the Ultra 4 scene has a setup. So I'm headed out to the shed now. Mitch has been ticking away this morning. I'm gonna go cut some tube and take some measurements, but really excited to get stuck into it. Uniballs, misalignments, etc. So, everything I've got here we've purchased from DFI Design Fab Industries, and I'll start with the one inch uniball cup. So, on the chassis end of our upper control arm, we will be using these uniball cups. Um, we've got one here that's already already got a uniball inside, so the uniball slides into the uniball cup like so, and then you've got your stir clip that then holds that uniball inside the cup and a misalignment spacer. So we're using the straight steel misalignments and this will act as a wobble stopper. And on the diff end, we have heim joints. So I've got an inch and a quarter, three piece heim joint here. In the past, I have gone with the two piece. Um, this is one that I've found in the shed. The difference between the two is that the two piece, you have your outer housing with your inner ball. Around this inner ball is injected with nylon and over time, this nylon tends to push out and fatigue. Um, with the three piece around the inner ball is encapsulated with steel. So this is why I've chosen to go with the three piece this time. Um, last but not least, we have the um, welding bungs. So we've gone with the hex head welding bungs. This makes it much easier when trying to tighten the jam nut. Um, and also trying when trying to get the right orientation for the arm. So that is why we've gone with these options for our upper control arms. If you have any further questions, feel free to send us a message. <laughs> about 24 inches of travel, which is a lot of up travel gain, which is what this car needed. And yeah, so huge, huge improvement. 
Um, so now we're going to work on the shock mounts and looking at a truss. Yeah, work out a bit of a truss idea. Yeah, um, and how we're going to incorporate bump pads yep. into that. Do a bit of drawing and yep. keep on going. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is our third weekend working on the rear rebuild of my race car. Uh, today we didn't get a lot of videoing done. Mitch spent the whole day welding, tigging everything out. Um, while he was doing that, I made some new taxi bars and some radiator mounts. Um, so that's about as productive as today's been. Otherwise, the diff is looking pretty well finished this week. Um, Mitch did the infill gusset plates for all the um, mounts on the diff and then we gave it a paint last, last night, night and it's looking flash so I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. Rebuilding and revalving my shocks, ready for the rear upper trailing arm. New setup has a lot more motion ratio, so we're gonna have to firm them up a little bit, and yeah. they're due for a rebuild anyway. So. Yeah, they were overdue. So I'm gonna take it out over the Christmas break and get it, get some testing and tuning done. So we're super happy with the end result and can't wait to show you guys. Superior have also hooked us up with these new alloy finned resins. So my old resins were the steel smooth bodies. The benefits to these resins are they're much lighter being alloy. They also provide much better cooling.
so it's final assembly weekend. The up trailing arms are finished and the car has been repainted. I'm super excited to get this thing reassembled because we are taking it out in two weeks time to the Springs 4x4 park. We was holding a twilight run up Battle Axe Gorge. Yep. I've recently had fires and floods, so yep. everything's changed. Yeah. Um, will be a good shakedown to put up the creek and yeah. see how she handles the rocks. Yeah, see how it all handles and um, just button a few things up and then yeah, we'll be pretty much pretty underway. Much
relatively unscathed the new new beadlocks got a bit of rock rash we had an awesome night it was heaps of fun everyone was there just having a good time wheeling together helping each other out can't wait to do more testing in the car the rear end worked amazing flawlessly um, so I'm super stoked with how it went especially down the creek and some of the tighter stuff it just was nice and stiff and didn't want to tip over like it used to so I'm really happy with the way the buggy went and yeah we'll see you guys next time